everyone, welcome to my video blog. I am Viviana, but you could call me Vivi. Today we're gonna to be making a cucumber basil margarita. Why? Because my friend's getting married and we decided to throw her a bachelorette party here in the house. You're gonna love the margarita, she's gonna love the margarita, I'm gonna love the margarita, and we're all gonna get really crazy. So what we need for a cucumber basil margarita. We need four cucumbers seeded and peeled. So we peel it like that. Make sure to seed the cucumber because if not, your mixture is gonna be really, really, really frothy and you, don't, you do not want a frothy mixture. I developed this recipe especially for my friend. She loves basil and she loves cucumber and she loves tequila. So, I mean, why not? Cut it in half, and then in half again, and then in half again, and then you seed it like this. Polly's gonna love this. Polly's my friend, by the way. She's hilarious. Stuff it in there. Make sure to wash your hands. Then we're gonna zest one whole lemon. Remember, I love the microplane zester, grater. It works as a grater, it works as a zester. It's pretty amazing. Also, it's very important not to peel the white part of the lime. I'm sorry I said lemon. We need a lime. Uh, because the white part makes it very, very, very bitter. And you don't want a bitter margarita. You like it, you want it nice and tangy and sweet. And now we're gonna use the juice of a lime. One whole lime. I just, I love basil, so does my friend. So I'm just gonna use one big handful, okay? Don't be scared of basil. And last but not least, organic coconut palm sugar. This is a substitute for regular sugar. You could use regular sugar if you'd like. I'm trying to keep it a little healthier. My body digests this kind of sugar better than the refined sugar, but you could use anything you'd like. And I created a simple syrup, which is equal parts sugar and water boiled. So I boiled one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and created my syrup. And last but not least, tequila. And this is Marcela Valladolid's tequila. I work for Marcela Valladolid. I don't know if you knew this. So I don't drink any other tequila but Marcela Valladolid tequila. This is a blanco. You could use blanco reposado. Try to keep it in blanco reposado because extrañejo and añejo. I'm gonna put one cup or a little more, why not? Okay, so like I was saying, añejo and extrañejo. Uh, well, you need to enjoy those on their own. So just use blanco. So now we blend. And now I'm gonna strain my liquid through a fine mesh strainer into a bowl. Now I want you to note the color of my margarita is a little olive green and that is because I used coconut palm sugar, okay? If you used regular sugar or refined sugar, your margarita is gonna be much greener. It's gonna be a little prettier, but I'm trying to stay healthy. My friend is like on a mega diet because so, something that's healthier. Now, I'm gonna try a little bit before I get ready. Yum. You could garnish it with a little basil leaf. I'm so excited. It smells like tequila. Oh my goodness, can the party just start now? Mmm, 
It's amazing, it's sweet, it's tangy, it tastes like cucumber, it's refreshing. Perfect for summer. Try it. Like me, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Viviana Lay. You'll have the recipe down below in the recipe box or information box. I call it the recipe box. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy. Salud.